Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here once again. It is Team Ira. Have you watched the very first video of the day? If not, what are you waiting for, people? Anyway, I do have social media accounts, and don't worry, I'll discuss that matter after this part of the video is over. Now, once again, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to treat like a villain, and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and this subject, and of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. This one, there will be an article. Now, this is for all the UK fans out there. Now, in other places, okay? Listen to this. According to a report from PW Insider, there are Tencent plans, I know I messed this up, in place for W to hold a sh um, stadium show in the UK. This event is expanded to take place over the Labor Day weekend as of this written. There is no word of it will be televised or not. So I guess they're going to have a show in the UK. And they don't know if it's going to be televised or untelevised. UK fans, you don't matter if it's televised or untelevised, right? Exactly. Now, UK fans, if you're watching this video, I think my opinion is because I'm from America, you guys are more passionate with wrestling, especially the WWE, than American fans. You guys agree, disagree. You know, you guys are a bunch of rowdy, class people from the UK. When you guys go to WrestleMania and other people, you know, other big events for wrestling related, you guys are so nice, okay? I met a few of you out there. Probably you guys don't remember me when I went to WrestleMania with my mom and my dad a couple years ago. It was awesome. Great. Atmosphere. If you're wondering if I'm going to go this year, no way. Maybe in the future, maybe not. I might be done. I cannot believe it. 42 days away into Mania. Holy cow. Now, you guys could check this out, okay? The rest of it. I'm not going to go explain anymore. Now, off the record, I made a video earlier today about the injury about Bobby Lashley. If you have not seen it, go check it out. And what's your thoughts, once again, that Brock Lesnar is the champion? What was the point of him? Um, WWE does not know what to do with that title. I'm sorry. They're very unorganized. I guess they just give a crap about the universal title than the WWE title. That makes no sense. I hate the universal title. It's an ugly name. It's an ugly belt. Actually, both belts are ugly. That'd be nice. Whoever wins... WrestleMania, winner takes all, Brock Lesnar versus the Chubber Chief, Roman Reigns. I think they should bring back the Undisputed Belt. That'd be nice. Will they do that? Probably not. I love that belt. I love it. I'm assuming they have it somewhere in the warehouse. It seems like UK fans... Let me ask you a question. UK fans, if you're listening... Or who's ever watching this. This is especially the UK fans. Do you think that we should bring back. Um, the Undisputed Belt. After. The WrestleMania this year. When it takes off. They could do it. The night after the WrestleMania. I know that the place will go. Bonkers. If. Whoever says. You know what. You know. Just okay. Just picture this. Okay. Roman. Beats. Brock Lesnar. The next night Raw, I know he's a SmackDown guy, but he has both belts. And then, I'm assuming McMahon come out. The new title is underneath the cloth. So, before they do that, Roman says, I beat everybody in my path. No one can beat me. No one can beat me. I am the most awesome performer. You know, however he says that, right? Then McMahon is out there and talking. He's having this nice speech to the fans. And Roman and the people are tired of Roman. They say boo, 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 boo. And all that stuff, right? So McMahon um, take the cloth off. And this, guess what? The, the undisputed belt. We have not seen that. 
for many, many years. So McMahon took, McMahon asked, um, asked the Tower Chief Romarine to hand over the two belt because they're not used anymore for the WWE. What's the point? He dominated everybody in his path, right? He beat Brock Lesnar and Mania. That's it. That storyline is over, right? So the new belt, McMahon just hands it over, and he's now the new undisputed champion because that like emerges. Like for example, when um it was a Divas Championship at WrestleMania that one year in Dallas, Texas, then. I think that pay per view lead up did the same thing, removed the cloth, and then when pay per view was over, instead of calling her the new, I mean the remain of the, the Diva Champion, they call her the Women's Champion because that, that sounds a lot better than Diva's belt. That belt was horrible. So, Roman Reigns says all that good stuff, the belt looks good on him, and then he was starting to talk. I know this will never happen to me. Guess who interrupts him? The Rock, his cousin, the night after. WrestleMania, and that will set up a match for next year WrestleMania in Los Angeles, California. That place will be buzzing if, hopefully, I mean, Rock made a shock appearance. No one didn't know about it. No tweets, nothing. So you came out of nowhere, interrupt Roman Reigns because McMahon was done with his team. He went backstage. The um, McMahon probably. Had McMahon told The Rock, go ahead and interrupt your cousin, and that will start the feud for WrestleMania for next year. The question is, will Roman Reigns be the undisputed champion by then? You never know. That'd be a nice. The Rock will talk all that smack, and that'll be a great thing to close out Monday Night Raw. You know, the place will be buzzing. People who went to Mania, they thought it was a great, awesome show. But the night after WrestleMania, it's always a buzzing. And this is the best, uh, the night after WrestleMania since the whole pandemic. How will you guys think about that? No one thought The Rock would show up the night after WrestleMania. No one thought it would happen. No one thought. So he came out of nowhere, say this, what did he have to say? No rock bottom, nothing. He just talked crap about his cousin. Of course, he did not mention the word cousin at all because they want to keep it um, personal-wise, you know what I'm saying? So that will be awesome to close out Raw. And of course, everyone's going to assume it's going to happen. Um, WrestleMania in 2023, it may happen, it may not happen. The Rock is just teasing it. And of course, when it gets close to Mania, it, will, it is going to happen because I guess The Rock and the and WWE in Hollywood made an agreement, and we'll find out what's gonna happen. That'd be an awesome to close out Raw. People on the internet will go, the place will interrupt in Dallas, Texas, because it's a night after the WrestleMania. I'd love to see that. Will all happen? You never know. Maybe I predicted it. You know, all good stuff. Have a good one. Now, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. Double click the link, DM me, and I can make arrangements for a future episode of the Rivalry Show. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Peace out. Excellent. See you guys tomorrow.